everyone, welcome back to Next Generation. In today's video, we'll be making a DIY busy board, which is basically a board that you fill up with things for babies, toddlers to play with. So they do sell these online, but they are super expensive. And my sister wanted to purchase one for my nine month old nephew who absolutely loves to get into everything. So I figured I would build him one customized to the things that he likes and for a lot cheaper than how much they are online. So that's what we'll be doing today and as usual we're first gonna start with everything that you need to make it first up you need something to put all of the activities on so I chose this 24 by 24 inch sanded wood and you can paint stain or seal this but we didn't want to put any chemicals on the wood and I'm gonna sand it as smooth as possible and I'm also going to round the edges so that they're also not sharp and you can also use a laminate wood which is going to be a smooth finish but this is going to have the rough edges on the corner Corners. All right, so for all of the things that we're gonna add on the board, this is all completely customizable to whatever you would like. There are endless ideas on things that you can purchase. So of course, I got a bunch of stuff from the hardware store. And then I also got some stuff from Dollar Tree because they do have a whole utility aisle. So I do recommend checking them out. I got a wall switch light. So when you turn this light switch on and off, the entire switch lights up. And then they also have push LED lights if you were curious. For this, you will also need some batteries. I also got this giant calculator which is perfect for him to push all of the buttons on here and then I also got this 24 foot cord which came in multiple different colors and I figured this would be perfect to string through the board like a shoelace and that is everything that I got from Dollar Tree so moving on to what I got from the hardware store first off I got a doorknob I got the super round one that's almost like a ball they do have other shapes if you were curious as well as colors I stuck to more silvers and blacks because that's kind of all they had at the hardware store you can't get many things in bright colors. I also got the deadbolt so that he can play with the little lock on that. And this comes with keys, but I bought keys, so I'm returning that. I also got this door chain, another thing that he can play around with. I also got this style door guard, which he can open and close. I got one of these fan switches, which is one of the things that hangs down from your fan and you can click it on and off. I always loved playing with these when I was a kid, so I figured I had to add that to his board. And then I also got the pull chain so that it can make it a lot longer because the chain that comes on it is only a couple inches long and then I also purchased a plain key that I figured I could hook to the end of this chain because he loves to play with keys next up I got a swivel wheel so that he can spin this and move it all around I did not realize how much stuff I got now that I'm laying it all out if I do have extra I'll probably return some of it but I'm glad that I got all of it so that I can show you guys all of the different ideas but next up I got this little key ring which I figured I could just hook to the board and he can pull on it and I could add one of the keys that comes with this bolt to the end of this and he can just pull and play on it. I got another type of lock. This one is called a barrel bolt. And the last couple things are just some light switches. So I got just your standard style light switch with the cover so that he doesn't try to stick his fingers in any of these spots. Even though it's not gonna have a cord in it, I don't want there to be any sharp edges for him to bite or cut himself on. And then lastly, I got this paddle switch, which is just the light switch that you push on and off. And then I also got a switch cover for that. All right, so that is everything that we need to make it. I may also use some E6000 glue, which is basically an industrial strength glue for some of the things that I may not be able to drill into the board. So you may also need that. And that is everything that we need to build this. The first thing I'm going to do is take my board outside and give it a really good sand. I'm going to use my electric sander and a really rough sandpaper to get this as smooth to touch as possible. I'm also going to round the edges with the sander so that they're not sharp at all and he can rub his hands on here and not get any splinters and then once we have it completely sanded we can then come and add all of our stuff right on top Now that we have our board completely sanded and smooth to touch, we're now going to begin placing everything on it. And I am going to leave a space on the top where I'm going to add his name. I'm just going to cut mine out on my vinyl cutter, but you can also purchase sticker letters. And then you can add whatever title or name right on top.
This light switch does come with these double-sided sticky adhesive pads, but there are also holes where you can add screws. So that's up to you on what you wanna use. I'm gonna do screws because he's probably gonna pull this right off the board. To add our shoelace, I'm gonna pre-drill holes on the side in two lines so that we can string it through. I decided for the light switch, since it's pretty bulky and has a lot of metal on it, that I would just cut out a perfect hole where the light switch would poke through the board and I can use the cover on top of it so everything is nice and protected. So I had the idea to use this plexiglass mirror that I already had at home. So I'm going to attach that to the top and then put his name on top of that. You can purchase this at the hardware store or on Amazon. I will leave some links down below in case you are interested in getting a sheet of this. You can do either mirrored, clear, or colored plexiglass. And you can even put a sheet across the entire board so that it is this acrylic material rather than wood. So just another option in case you're interested. As far as adding this board onto your wall, there's lots of different ways that you can do it. The way that I'm gonna hang mine is I'm gonna use two to three inch screws and put one in each corner. And I'm gonna try to line up one side in a stud in the wall so that it's extra secure and he definitely won't be able to pull it out. So that's all for my DIY baby entertainment board. Leave down below in the comments any other ideas that you would have of things that you can add to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.